Hi everyone, I'm Veer Mahajan and today I'm going to be playing a game of Flycorp. This is actually my first video playing Flycorp. But we're going to be trying to recreate the British Empire. So we're going to begin by at its peak territorial extent. So we're going to include Ireland in that. And I'm just going to start to connect this stuff up. And um, of course the British Empire was huge. It was uh, the biggest empire. It had like a quarter of the entire um, world in it. Uh, all the in terms of land area. From Australia, New Zealand. Uh, India, of course, lo huge amounts of Africa, south, north, down the middle, everywhere. Um, and then, of course, Canada as well, plus some stuff in the Middle East. So, a very huge empire. Um, so, we're going to begin. Like, the first things I'm going to do are um, just like do stuff over here. So, we're going to take Cyprus, Israel, Palestine, Jordan, and Egypt. Uh, and we're going to just like connect all of that up to this main hub over here. So, let me just speed this up. Um, now they're going to start to open up a lot of cities over here, so I'm just going to wait until that happens. And then um, my main strategy is going to be to just make one hub in each area. So this is going to be like the European area, this is going to be the North African uh, North African area, there's going to be one more in South Africa, and then maybe like one or two more here because it's a very big amount of land. Uh, and then um, of course there's going to be a hub in Canada. I've actually tried this a few times uh, and then like in all the other regions like India, Australia, there are going to be hubs there. Uh, speaking of that, uh, we've got a new city here. Anyway, um, so we're going to connect that to London. And basically, uh, that makes it like pretty efficient. The only bad thing is if London gets blocked off, which is going to be really bad. You can imagine why that would be bad. If everything connects to London and London just goes out of commission, then nothing is connected to uh, this stuff anymore. So it's a risky thing. So I'm going to, um, like, I'm going to always make sure I have enough money on hand so that if London runs into trouble, I can connect up. Um, so if London runs into trouble, I can connect up everything to a city near uh, near it, and then same everywhere else. It's not going to be easy, but like, th it, th that's a trade-off. It, it will be efficient, but then there's also a huge risk of pooling everything to one airport. Uh, okay, let's do that. And now Glasgow. So I could connect it to Dublin, and that would make it more stable. But I'm going to connect it to London. And uh, okay, so that was pretty helpful. So like I, I don't know how good of a choice this is. Maybe if things go badly in this video, uh, when we continue the empire in other areas, we can uh, like look at this. It it just happened. I'm going to take that as a sign. I'm going to connect up everything a bit better, like over here. And um, well. You know, as soon as this ends, I think I'm going to... Um, right now, of course, it's on a small scale, right? It doesn't really change much. Now I'm going to delete these routes. So I'm going to sell both of them. Which was, again, like... Okay, that's pretty good. But now, if it happens... This was only with, like, three cities. And if there are, like, ten cities over here, it's going to be way, way harder, as you can imagine. And, um... London probably does need an upgrade. But since... Like since the flights going in are balanced by the flights going out. Okay, now I'm going to do this because London's going to be getting some more people. And just to make sure because with more and more people coming, even if the planes get out, they, they might just be um, overcrowding here. Right, because they still have to wait all that time. So I'm just going to do this to be safe. Um, and the traffic is only going to be increased for about 30 seconds. So when we get to 10,000, I'm going to go and unlock Egypt. Um, and the hub over there is going to be Cairo. Of course, so let's do this. Doesn't help us too much because we aren't making that much money from tickets. It's a small volume of tickets. So doubling that isn't going to help us much. Uh, but a billionaire decided to buy that. Okay, so now let's get Egypt. Right, and Cairo to London is just going to be our main, ro uh, main route. And we're going to get a level 5 plane over there. And wait, is that in Glasgow? Yeah, what's happening? Uh, okay, there's just an increase there. So I'm going to keep on fast forwarding. Let's get to like 9,000 and then I'll take maybe like Israel, Jordan. I think I'll take Cyprus after this. London seems fine to me. I don't, I don't see a problem there. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, it's just Cairo. That's where people want to go. So actually, let's see. The plane uh, Alexandria is right there. So we're going to connect that up as well. Um, let's wait for a bit longer. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to wait until this expensive plane thing uh, ends and then I'm going to start to unlock uh, a few countries, maybe two countries because they're going to be right next to each other. I think I'll go with um, Israel and Jordan for now and then 
okay we'll do it now because we're going to make some more money from that so israel and jordan and palestine actually let's do palestine now as well it's going to be a bit expensive but i think it will work so all of these connect up now uh wait, wait, wait. okay i think Cairo actually did need that uh so anyway ram wait ramallah and aman okay yeah, things are going to get bad now so connect that in there and wait why is ramallah not connecting there uh, that seems good so things are looking fine now uh, i think this one will need a new plane so let's buy a new plane there uh the spacing was not good on that because now just as this plane starts to reach the next plane is going to leave right oh it's london to cairo so it won't be that bad actually it's pretty good spacing they'll be like about um not exactly opposite but they will be close to opposites which will be the most efficient so like when cairo gets filled another plane will take it up then just like halfway before it comes again uh it's going to happen again basically it's just more efficient like that and yeah i'm still really worried about what will happen if cairo if something happens in cairo so like should i make the backup alexandria but then i won't have to open so many more routes uh, right because alexandria to london like manchester the good thing is that no one cares about manchester because manchester only connects to london nothing else depends on that uh right so actually i think considering that it's easier now if anything else gets blocked off there's nothing to worry about um considering that i think this is a pretty decent strategy right because let's do that uh, okay we've gotten pretty rich now i think we'll take we've gotten jordan oh yeah let's do cyprus before i forget and nicosia will connect there so i think we've done um a decent bit it's not too big right now but uh yeah i think i want to continue i'll just take sudan not south sudan i'm not going to go that far because okay like they just upgraded it and now they uh unupgraded it downgraded it but I don't even care. Look at that plane. 247 people on it. And now, just as it starts to get filled up again, another plane is going to reach. And then when it starts to get filled up from that, another plane is going to reach. So, um, I think we've reached a pretty decent amount of money over here. But I'm not going to stop just yet. Because I want to get Sudan in as well. So, I want to just unlock Sudan. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm not doing anything. This is a sign. Uh, fuel prices have gone up. So, I think I can maybe write this out. I can just wait on Khartoum until this thing ends, right? So it's uh, going to be one minute. It's quickly getting done. Let's see how many people are there. There are only like five people. So I think we'll just wait. I don't want to waste uh, so much money on an expensive route. Uh, only 11 people there. And again, I don't know what it is with uh, these people. But anyway, Cairo. So we're going to connect it in with a level three plane. Okay, so at least we won that case. I'm going to speed up now. And I think we'll wait for, okay, uh, yeah, London is looking pretty bad now. I think when both of these start to get right next to each other, I want to buy a new plane then. Oh, wait, wait, I should probably buy a new plane, like, yeah, just as they're both in the middle, I should buy a new plane. Uh, I think that's, that's more than enough. Okay, it's not, uh, not ideal, but it's, it's not that bad, I guess. Uh, a new airport has been opened up here in Ismaila. Okay, so that's still looking pretty decent. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. I know it's been pretty short, but uh, don't worry. Things are going to get a lot more heated when we unlock more and more countries. Uh, for the next video, I think we're just going to do all of the Arabian Peninsula, which is going to have not all of the thing, but like whatever the British had there. Kuwait, Qatar, UAE, Oman, and Yemen. And then maybe even Somaliland, uh, because they have that over here. So all of these, uh, like six, we're going to unlock the next six, which is going to be a pretty big increase for us. And um, after that, after that, let me know what you want to do in the comments after that. We could do either India or we could continue with Africa. Uh, and Africa isn't just like over here. It's also got Nigeria and uh, a few countries over here. So let me know. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Meanwhile, let me know if you want me to make other types of videos. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.